when decision making, authority, and, and goals and objectives are clear, you get better outcomes more quickly. You know, for me, the best feeling in the world is having a clear vision that I can then go run hard after. But on the flip side of that, it's really frustrating and um, stressful for me if I'm ever in a situation where I'm not sure what the actual end goal is. Well, something that we struggle with now in the Pradera, you know, large organization context is we try to set clear objectives and outcomes around what we expect people to do. We all have different expectations. And so when that filters down to our next level in the organization, our leadership and management team, we, that ambiguity drives some, some confusion. And I, and I do know that there have been some instances where people actually get conflicting direction. There was a time when I had been given direction from several of the partners on a specific project because those directions were somewhat competitive, they didn't quite align. I felt very stuck and wasn't sure which way to go and how, how to move forward with excellence on that project. And Rob Rega, our CEO, was, had the humility and took the time to you know, come find me at my desk and pull me into his office and explain the situation, apologize. I mean, that spoke volumes to me just about his character and just taught me uh, personally, huge lessons about humility and leadership and what that actually looks like. So we have this saying, the speed of the leadership team, the speed of the whole team. So when we're all on the same page, there's this great confidence that comes out of that place. And so our partners lead our teams with great confidence. And that results in clarity right down to that next level. But if there's questions, you lead a little bit more timidly, and people pick up on that. And so that conversation that we have really matters. The larger we get, the, the words that we use and how to describe something um, really, really matter. And we need to be using stories and examples to support the words that we use to set a goal so that people really get it.